we are, I think all of us as Canadians, a little saddened to see the polarizing negative nature of the campaign being run by some of our opponents, which is directly imported from uh, the challenging electoral situations we see in fellow democracies around the world. We also know uh, that Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives are choosing uh, to play very divisive games uh, and uh, to use the politics of fear and division to try and get Canadians to vote for them. And I think Conservatives need to continue to be called out on the nasty negative campaign that they're running because Canadians deserve better. Jack was someone that was able to win over the hearts of Canada, Canadians, win over the hearts of Quebecers. And he did that not just with his personality, which was pretty amazing, and not with just his uh, ability to connect with people, but because of his values. His values of fighting social injustice and to defend our planet and the environment. Well, we've got a specific plan that responds to unique things that matter to the people of Quebec. Uh, environmental evaluations, the rights to control uh, culture, because culture is so important, so spending when it comes to the Quebec culture and music and arts, um, making sure that the federal money goes to allowing Quebec to basically to, to direct and to uh, allocate those funds the way they see most appropriate, given Quebec's unique identity. I'm really proud of that. Being careful with your vote means you should vote for what you want. We have six different political parties that are very likely to return members of parliament at the end of this election. We're looking at polls that have been very stalled at a deadlock, but in the popular vote, uh, a virtual tie between conservatives and liberals. Uh, for that matter, a virtual tie between NDP and Greens. But the point is, right now, we're looking at a minority parliament. And what you want are members of parliament who know how to cooperate across party lines and deliver good results. I would regard a Trudeau majority as just as bad as a Harper majority, because neither one of them are committed to the climate action that is urgently required. 